the, the pillar of fire by night. You're going to start seeing more of that. And the closer we get, the more you're going to see these signs and these, these prophecies speaking. They're the most side going to make it to where, like this tornado out there in uh, Oklahoma, they got jacked up and then the, the tornado came back. Then there was something in the news. I mean, there's so much news happening, you can't keep up with it, that they said there were thunder strikes or lightning strikes. I don't know if they said it was 1,500. I forget. It was like a record. It was like... Thunder and lightning all over the place, man. You know, and um, that it was uh, it was kind of weird to them to them devils, man, because they check everything out, man. So there's gonna be a time where things. See now you can put a, a logical explanation to it. Well, it's uh, tornado season and these things happen. There's gonna be a time where, let's say for example, the Most High. Um, I was thinking about this yesterday. The Most High took down 50 planes, but he, he hit them with lightning strikes, a plane for every state. So there are 50, 50 planes that taken down, you know, in mid-flight. Now, you can't say that's a coincidence. These things happen. That's not a coincidence, man. Coincidence. That's, that, then you're going to be looking to a higher power, man. Then you're gonna be saying, "Well, nah, this this ain't nah. This is, you can't. You, there's no logical logical explanation for this." And then the most I can make something else happen where there's a tor there's 50 tornadoes, and they, all, all 50 tornadoes hit 50 different states. You know, or UFO sightings come down, and Everybody in the country sees it. Might be a million UFOs that come down and fly uh, and, and, and hover around for three days. And there's so many UFO sightings that there's no way you can say it's a weather balloon or you didn't see it or you're crazy. The most high gonna start showing himself. And the reason why we out here teaching his word and being diligent. Because we know, we know that the Most High is coming back. How about show me how Shai is coming back? This is, uh, this is real quick. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 1. For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore unnurtured souls have erred. For when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness, and fettered with the bonds of a long night, lay there ex exiled from the eternal providence. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. For neither might, for neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear, but noise, noises as of waters falling down sounded about them, and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenances. No power of the fire might give them light. Neither could the, the bright flames of the stars endure to enlighten that horrible night. Only there appeared unto them a fire kindled of itself, very dreadful, for being much terrified, they thought the things which they saw to be worse than the sight they saw not. As for the illusion of art magic, they were put down, and their vaunting in wisdom was reproved with disgrace. For they that promised to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul... Right, those, those, the uh, Egyptian... Uh the uh, stargazers, the magis, the, the wise ones that, that perform magic. Because remember when uh, Moses came before Pharaoh, he threw down his staff and it turned into a, a serpent. And then uh, the uh, wise men of Pharaoh threw down two staff and they became two serpents. So they were saying, well, we know that magic too. But Moses' uh, serpent ate the two staffs. Or the two serpents. So that was the most I showing that you have that power, that spiritual power, but Moses' power is more powerful than your power. So what he, the elder was just reading was when those apparitions came, it was terrifying those wise men, those magi, the, the stargazers and, and all, all that, you know? Because they couldn't find a way to stop it. Because they said that we're going we're gonna to use our power to, to wipe away this 
this plague that the Mosai sent to us. But they couldn't do it. They couldn't stop the, 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 the uh, river of uh, blood. They couldn't stop the, uh, the flies, the locusts, the hell mingle with fire. There was things that the Mosai did that showed that this is, this is a spiritual thing. This is something outside of your power. And he's going to do the same thing in this, in this society because when Israel was born as a nation, they were born in Egypt. And now this is the last Egypt. So the Mosai are going to bring that same thing, but worse. So there's going to be some unexplained things that's going to happen. And a lot of you guys in GMS, going back to GMS, a lot of you guys are going to fall out because you're going to bug out. A lot of you guys are going to bug out too. And you guys that fell off, look, just because you fell off, nigga, and you went back to your job, that don't mean nothing, man. The most I got them death angels following your ass, man, riding your back. Most I going to do some strange things to this society before he, before he X this place out. Because it tells you in the apocrypha, you're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation, man. All right? Uh, this is found in the book of Acts 2, 19 and 20. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the, of the Lord comes or yep. come. That's right. It's, uh, you know, and you uh, international bankers, you know, Rothschilds, uh, Rockefellers and all those, you know, you guys got things, you know, covered. You know, you, you running things, you know, you, you, you got everything in control, but it's going to come a point where it's going to be out of your control. You know, there's going to be things happening you're not going to be able to explain. See, now you can just, you know, you can blame it on whatever. But when the time comes, you're not going to be able to uh, 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 just push that away or to the side and ex and say, uh, explain it as just uh, some freak accident or something like that. This is uh, uh, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 8. Shall I not in that day, say of the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. You know, your military men, you know, your, 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 your wise men, the, the ones that, that are running your society and your government, they're going to start bugging out from the things that are going to start happening to this society pretty soon. It says, this is back in Wisdom of Solomon 17.8. For they that promised to drive away terrors and troubles, uh, troubles from a sick soul were sick themselves of fear, worthy to be laughed at. For though no terrible, that's what the Lord said, he's going to laugh. He's a citizen in the heavens shall laugh at thee. Because he sees that your day is coming. He sees that that, that that spark that you have is going to be put out. You know? But, but the, you, he is a, he's allowing you to keep going like he allowed Pharaoh to keep going. Remember, the Lord heartened Pharaoh's heart till Pharaoh could keep uh, 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 bigging himself up more and more till finally the Most High just crushed him like the worm that he was. It says, For though no terrible thing did fear them, yet being scared with beasts that passed by and hissing of serpents, they died for fear, denying that they saw the air which could of no side be avoided. And when you read Isaiah the 13th chapter, which we were reading earlier, it says that men's hearts are going to fail them for fear and for looking at those things that are coming on the earth. You know, uh, uh, so you, you're not going to, I mean, some of you are going to die in a race war. Some of you are going to die during the, uh, uh, when the missiles hit. Some of you are going to die in the famines. You know, some of you are just going to die of heart attacks when you start seeing this stuff happening. And you're going to probably be healthy as hell. You're going to just drop dead. You know, the Lord.